Hello and welcome. On today's video I'm going to talk about Pavlov's dog and the Mandela effect affecting this. This is brought to my attention by Brian McFarland. He asked me to do a quick video. So here we go. This is also covered by Recall Vector and Adam Bockwich. I'd like to give him a big shout out. If you're watching this on Brian's channel, pop over to mine, give me a, a like and a subscribe please. Thank you very much. I'm sure the link is underneath the video. So here we go, getting into this. So, the idea of Pavlov's dog using a bell in his conditioning research and his discoveries are founded on this particular stimulus is doubtful. Despite its now legendary status, we can ask for whom the bell tolls. Well, it doesn't toll for Pavlov's dog. So, there is a description here that conditioning stimuli firmly established one of the sound is to a metrodome and the other is to a sound of an electric bell the buzzing of an electric bell and there are several other stories and entries through the textbooks buzzer is used listed rather than a bell perhaps this is an exclusive explanation to the missing bell in Pavlov maybe it is maybe it's not what do you remember do you remember I'm using a bell to condition these dogs or do you remember I'm using a, a metrodome? Um, well, this is new to me, so I'll leave it down to you. What do you remember? But along with feeding the dog a meal, he had a condition stimulus that went along with it, the ringing of a bell. So every time he fed the dog a meal, he rang a bell. Matter of instincts, a matter of conditioning, and a matter of fun. You can call me Pavlov's dog. Bring a bell and I'll celebrate. And after a period of exposures, he was able to take the meal away and ring a bell, and the dog would begin to associate the past experience with the present moment. Behavioral psychologists have come up with new views, not only of animal behavior, but of human nature as well. And these views all concern a process that we take for granted, learning, because we are all truly born to learn. Ironically, one of the most important figures in the study of learning, Ivan Pavlov, wasn't concerned with the subject at all, at least not at first. Pavlov, a noted Russian scientist, won the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine in 1904. As this original footage shows, Pavlov was initially interested in digestion and the action of the salivary glands. By diverting the saliva of dogs into test tubes, he could precisely measure if and how much they salivated during digestion. When food was presented, the dog salivated quickly and inherited salivary reflex. But over repeated testings, a strange thing happened the dog salivated before contact with the food. Just the sight of the food was enough to stimulate their drooling. Then, just seeing the food dish, or even hearing the footsteps of Pavlov or his assistants was enough to trigger this built-in reflex. What was going on to elicit this response? Pavlov decided to find out by systematically varying the stimuli and measuring the dog's reaction. Metronomes, lights, and bells were all used as stimuli, and they all worked as stand-ins for the food. What mattered was not the kind of stimulus that was used, but the fact that it reliably signaled that food was on the way. So there you go, folks. There's a couple of clips I picked up. It does clearly mention a bell, plus a metrodome as well. So, what do you remember? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next cartoon. Goodbye.